What's up guys, it's Roger from Umbro Gaming with a new NBA 2K18 Los Angeles Lakers My GM Series episode. And before I go ahead and start the video, uh, if you guys could leave a like, that'd be great. Uh, but no, for real, um, there's two things, well two players that I want to discuss uh, right off the bat to start this video off. And those are Brooke Lopez and KCP. Two players which I... I, I like they're good players and I'm kind of happy that the Lakers picked them up for this season that's about to start in real life but going into the contract extensions of course we can't extend them because they haven't been here long enough or something like that uh, they're not eligible but it still shows us what they're expecting to make if I do decide to resign them and look according to their contract thought they both want to resign like Brooke Lopez says I agree uh, we both agree that re-signing with the Lakers would be a good career move. And then KCP uh, says he's interested in re-signing with the team this coming summer. So, two guys that we have that, first off, aren't eligible. We still have to wait till the uh, free agency to send them an offer and then wait to see if they decide to sign with us. One, a lot of money. So, one's $30 million a year and the other one's $20 million a year. And that's besides the fact that Julius Randle, which is eligible for uh, renewal, for resigning, and he does want to resign, also is looking to get about $20 million a year. So Julius Randle, I do want to bring him back. I do want to go ahead and just pay him the $20 million a year. Uh, comment down below if you guys agree with me on that. If you don't, tell me why. I really want to know why you wouldn't want Julius Randle to come back. But I personally love Julius Randle and would not mind paying him that money to come back. But as for Ju uh not Julius, as for Brooke Lopez, that's $30 million. $30 million for a 29-year-old center. I don't think so. Sure, you can shoot the three, but unless he was like 24 years old, I wouldn't pay him this much money. Like, there's no there's no chance of uh, getting better like his potential is already capped at 84 sure I could raise it but what's the point of raising it if it's just gonna dip again when he gets uh, older and same with KCP like he's at an 80 right now and his potential is an 81 so he's kind of done progressing I don't want to pay this man 20 million dollars if he's kind of already capped at at that 80 overall so I want to go ahead and trade these guys uh, my plan is to just go ahead and play it through till about the trade deadline and then trade them away. Whenever that point reaches, I will show you guys what trades are, are you know, p potential possibilities. And I mainly want to trade them away for some picks, first round picks, hopefully top three picks. So that way I can go ahead and get those guys that uh, I've talked about in past episodes that this My Gym series is kind of focusing on for when it comes to the draft class. Because if we don't do bad, we're losing our first round pick. Like, if we're not in the top five, we're losing that pick. So we're going to need to go ahead and trade for a first round pick. And I really do want to get one, of, at least one of those three guys that are in the draft. So I think trading Brooke and uh, KCP would probably be our best option at getting them. Since after this year, they're going to be useless to us. Like, they're not going to be assets for the squad if we don't renew them. And I don't plan on renew them. That's too, uh, renewing them. That's too much money. Not something I want to do. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how I wanted to go ahead and start off this uh, episode, mainly because we're going to our office, mainly because it's just something that I feel like I should have discussed earlier. Uh, we're already hit in December. We're about to hit New Year's Eve um, in a couple of games, probably like, like half a month. Uh, let me go ahead and read this first. <laughs> Commander Salasad, I like that. I'm going to... I'm gonna switch my username on uh not my username but like my name on Twitter to Commander Salazar. Uh, would you like to view our latest scouting report? So now the top three guys that we're gonna go ahead and try to get in the, free, in, uh, the draft are at 92, 93, and 94 percent. So we're pretty much getting a good look at what they're gonna be looking like. Baldwin's looking to play like Grant Hill All NBA. That's pretty good at the very least. He's going to be a Jay Crowder. And for being 6'10", small forward, that's pretty good. Honestly, they're saying that this man's got great passing skills. Let me see if... I mean, it's 5.2. is not that great. But, I mean, it's still pretty good for a 6'10", forward. 
um, because I think like in the storyline of this my GM, they consider him a 6'10 point guard. So imagine if we play him at the shooting guard or at the point guard, having a 6'10 guy that can have handles, because his playmaking's his playmaking's an A plus, so his handles are gonna be nice. Um, so definitely, I have a lot of interest in Jackson Baldwin because pretty much it's a 6'10 point guard. 6'10 point guard. Freddie Staples is an actual point guard. He can shoot the ball very well. Good playmaking. Not as good as a 6'10 uh, small forward, but still pretty good. Good athleticism. And, you know, good potential in A+. Plus. That's pretty good. And then, of course, we got Mirko, which is the center that I want to get. Sure, he's not a great three-point shooter, but he's got a mid-range. He's got great defense, great rebounding, decent athleticism, and an A-plus potential. Um, so, yeah. Um, hopefully in the next scouting report, or well not hopefully, it's going to be in the next scouting report when we will have the 100% and that way I can go ahead and look at all of their stats and things like that. I will probably do that hopefully in the next episode. I'll just do a whole episode just talking about each of these guys. But yeah, trades, trades, trades. I know we just did a trade to get rid of Lua Dang. We traded away Larry Nance, unfortunately. But we got to keep moving forward. We got, like I said, those two guys, Brooke and KCP which are gonna go ahead and not be asses to us and after the trade deadline so we really should go ahead and just trade them now they'll be free agents if anything we can if we really do want to get them back later we can just pick them up in free agency later on and then just go from there uh, but yeah pretty much that's the plan that's what i want to do in the comments down below what do you guys think oh zubaka is injured zublaka why is everyone tired you're not, he's not even playing that many minutes. I'll drop everyone down a little bit. Kuz, I'm going to leave you there. Clarkson, that's fine. Zoo is injured. Let's go ahead. Oh, Zoo. It's day to day. I'm going to leave him like that. Leave him like that for now. And then give... Oh, Josh Hart's injured. Give these minutes to these guys right here. Clarkson. Give two to Zoo. I mean, uh, Kuz. Leave it like that for now. Hopefully they get a little bit of a break. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Trades, yeah. So, I, so, so yeah, I'm pretty much saying that I, we just got to trade them. We got to go ahead and just see how that goes. And uh, let's see if we can beat the Warriors in this episode. It's a close game. Uh, let's drop it down to five minutes. Tie game. I'm going to go ahead and jump in. See if I, See if I can clutch it out. And then this will be the game for the episode, I guess. So uh, let's go ahead and let this load. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this W. See if we can get Brook Lopez one rebound. So that way he gets a double-double. And try to stop Durant from scoring because he's about to pull that up. Good defense. Good defense. Kuz, stay on him. You stayed on him. And it helped. Stay on him still. That's it. Of course. KD, KD, KD. Randall, set the pick. Beautiful. Set. Oh, no, the lob was terrible. Brooke, get back. Clarkson, get there. Starting the game off. 30 seconds in. Already down five. Uh, ball is already tired. And he's also already a superstar. I did not even realize that. No. What? Come on, dude. I didn't even plan to do any of that. I'm just getting hoed. Wow. Okay, pass that up. Get through. Brooke, post him up. That's you. That's a full bar. That's a full bar. Give me the shot. I know he's tired, but damn. We're already down so much, bro. We're down seven coming into this game. Good defense. Pick that up. What? You gotta be kidding me, you had the rebound already! I hate this game sometimes. Kuz! Let's go! Kuzuma, that's a three right there, baby. He's nine and nine. Let's see if we can get him a double double. 
I guess that'll be my main focus for the game because I can't score to save my life. So it looks like we might be losing to the Golden State Warriors. I'm not trying to lose. Like, I really do want to win. But, I mean, I don't mind if we actually do lose because, you know, we're trying to not be great this year. We're trying to tank. But I'm not going to lose purposely. Spin move. Oh, you got to beat. Get those two points, Kuz. Okay, get some defense up there. Clay Thompson. Good shot, boy. Oh, uh, get that to Randall. Back him down. No, I wanted the fake. Okay. I wanted the fake, but, I mean, if you're going to score it like that, that's cool. I'll take that. 2010 for Brooke Lopez. Get in there. Thank you. All right, down by three points. We were down, like, what, eight? So it's not that bad anymore. Stay on him. Defense. All right, back him in. He's not this strong. It's Brooke Lopez. Come on. Good fake. And get that. That was a great fake. Down by two points still. One minute to go. We're going to clutch this out. Um, I want to tank this season, but I don't want to lose to the Golden State Warriors. If we can beat them, we'll be Gucci. Like, I'm never going to tank a game on purpose. If we're losing via simulation, the full simulation, we're losing. That's fine. I'll take the L. I want that top five, top five pick. Oh, they're already thinking he's player of the game? Hell nah. We got him in the left. We're going to win this. Good block. What? Wow. Of course. Of course. I don't, I don't know why I get surprised anymore, man. Someone sent me a beautiful pick, please. Good cross. Take it all the way to the rim. Two points. Lonzo Ball, 10 and 8. Oh, he's too tired to shoot a three, man. Good cross. Step in. Randall. Thank you. End of regulation. Uh, we lost by eight points. Terrible start to the fourth quarter. Uh, and wherever I did start, five minute mark. Played well, got close, couldn't clutch it out, couldn't make open shots. You know how that goes. I did go ahead and get a double double for Brook Lopez. He got 20 and 10. And I got a double double for Kuzuma. He was like 13 and 10. So, you know, that's uh, going to be it for this game. Uh, let me see if there's any cutscenes after this real quick. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you want another episode, like I said, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what you liked about the video or channel that made you want to subscribe. I'm curious to uh, what you guys like about me and what you guys like about my channel. I want to get better. I want to just be able to give you guys the best content possible. So criticize me, give me tips, be mean about it. I don't care. Uh, just give me some, give me something, uh, something to read, something to make me try to get better, and uh, leave that in the comments down below. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and deuces.